favourite, the former world junior champion, the man who has delivered this season time and time again, Noah Lyles. He will believe this is his destiny. A huge roar for this hotly anticipated final. Great start by De Grasse. Adam Tamili on his inside, and we still haven't seen the acceleration yet from Noah Lyles. Lyles is leaving it late. He's under pressure. Now he's coming through. He's got all the talent in the world, and now he's got the gold medal to match. 19.82. He thought he would go faster. He was under huge pressure. A wonderful run by De Grasse to put him under so much pressure. Adam Tamili was right there on the bend as well. Lyles had it all to do, and when he needed to, he delivered. Quinones came through for the bronze, it was very tight with Jamili. De Grasse takes the silver, but no one, no one was going to deny Noah Lyles what he believed he was born to do, and that's shine on the biggest stages of all. Bolt has won this, Johnson has won this, Fredericks has won this, and now the history books will always show that Noah Lyles has been a champion of the world. Listen to this. Noah Lyles is becoming an icon of the sport. He's the Olympic bronze medalist. He's the defending champion. He is desperate to taste gold again. They're away first time. There's a roar from the crowd. It's a great start from Lyles, but Bednarek's running well. On the inside, no move yet from Knighton. Lyles has got the edge here, and he's storming away. What a moment for Noah Lyles. He hates losing over 200 metres, and he's forgotten how to. 19.32. 19.32. He has smashed, smashed his personal best and produced one of the fastest times in history. Quite frankly, after 120 metres, it was never, never in doubt. He was tamed in Tokyo, but with the heart of an American lion, Lyles has roared back to the top. He successfully defends his world title, and there was no one else in it. And listen to the crowd, listen to the crowd. The Olympic silver medalist takes the world silver and Knighton, at 18 years of age, does indeed become the youngest medalist in history. And the Americans have done the sweep only once before as it happened in Helsinki in 05. But this time it's on home soil and it's the perfect outcome from the perfect champion, Lyles, roars and reigns supreme once more. And now, to the star of the show, the reigning champion. The newly crowned 100-metre champion. He promised a gold rush, and so far he has delivered. That's the kind of roar normally reserved for the finish line. But such is his confidence. He announces his arrival into the stadium like an American lion. Set. Lyles fourth from the left-hand side. I'm surprised they could hear the gun. There was a massive roar in the stadium. Tobogo's gone very, very hard on the outside. Lyles needs to stay relaxed here, but he's pulling away. It's a slingshot around the bend. Hughes running well in the middle. Knighton's trying to go with him. Watch the clock. It's gold again. The greatest showman delivers a blockbuster finish in Budapest. It's not the world record, but he's proved once again under incredible pressure that he is the man to beat, that he is the man of the moment. There's nobody more confident, there's nobody more composed, and there's nobody more talented. He's forgotten how to lose over 200 metres. Knight in the silver, Tobogo a brilliant bronze, but they were blown away round the bend, and then it was just a question of how fast. He knows what a great sport this is. He wants it front and centre in the American public consciousness. When they think about sport, he wants them not just to think about him, but to think about running the 200. 
with the grace and effortlessness with which he has scorched to a third successive 200-metre title.